Let's talk about Ecotech Marine Radeon G4 Pro LED lights and unbox it. Hello everyone, Reefer Gill here. I'm very excited about today's video as I finally get to open the box containing the Ecotech Marine Radeon XR30W Pro, aka the Radeon Generation 4 Pro, aka the Radeon G4 Pro. Since the start of my 75 gallon reef tank, I've been running the Aqua Illuminations colored Vega LED lights. These lights have been on my system for over four years. I did do a full four year review video, so if you missed it, there'll be a link in the screen and also in the description down below, but don't leave quite yet. I will be running two Radeon G4 Pros in my upcoming build and both lights will be mounted on the RMS mounting kits. As excited as I am to open up the box and actually hold the lights for the first time after having them in my possession for nearly one year, I'm actually also nervous about swapping out the lights. With all the equipment upgrades that I'll be doing, lighting is the most likely reason I'll kill off my corals if I'm not careful on how I introduce the corals to their new sunlight. So my plan is to run the Radeon lights at about 20% for the first few weeks just to see how the corals respond. I'll make incremental adjustments as time goes on until I get the results that I'm looking for. If any of you have any advice on how to swap out these lights, please let me know in the comments down below. It took me one year to finally dial in my AI Vega lights, but in all fairness to myself, it took that long because I was constantly introducing new corals for the first year and making adjustments as I cruised along. I've been planning this build for over one year and started buying upgrades here and there, which is the reason why I've had these lights in my possession, sealed in their boxes, for such a long time. The best part of these lights and RMS mounts was the price. These fixtures come with an $800 price tag per light, plus another $100 for the RMS mounts. I paid half that price for both lights and mounts. How did I get such an awesome discount you ask? Well during last year's Magna in San Diego I won a raffle prize and that prize was a brand new Radeon XR30W Pro and one RMS mount. So when I paid full price for the second fixture and the RMS mount, I ended up with two lights, two mounts, thus I paid half the price. So wait. Okay, no more gloating over the raffle prize. I'm eager to open up the box and check out my very own Radeon G4 Pro. First up is the light. Man, this thing is really slick looking. Really love the black gloss finish look on it. It's heavier than I thought. This light is just really cool looking and has a really low profile. There are these three buttons for manual control of the lights if you choose to use them. The light measures 7 inches from front to back, is 11.8 inches long, and is 1.5 inches tall. It has 8 color channels with a variety of blues, whites to include red, green, violet, and true UV. Compared to my AI Vegas which only has blues, whites, red, and green, I'm hoping the Radeons bring out more vivid colors in my corals. Another cool feature about these lights are the HEI optic lenses which deliver a nice even spread of light rather than projecting a spotlight effect down into the tank. Although the HEI lenses are great in providing an even spread throughout the tank, I'm a little concerned with the light splash outside the tank. The new tank will be located in the living room within our line of sight of watching TV, so LED light spilling out into our eyes is a concern, but we'll see what happens when it's all set up. I guess this is where a canopy will eliminate that issue. Okay, next item out of the box is our power supply, power cable, quick start manual, USB cable, a cloth, and eyelet mounts. Some other highlighted features of the Ecotech Radeon lights are their ability to be controlled via EcoSmart Live or Neptune Apex controller via the WXM module. The light is also preloaded with spectrum configurations which you can use as a starting block or use them straight out. I'll do a demonstration on how to mount the Radeons onto the RMS mount in a separate video. I sure am looking forward to getting these lights going. Please follow along with my upcoming build by subscribing, smash that like button, and we'll see you guys next Sunday. Thanks for watching. <laughs>